You might have noticed that with ProPresenter 7, there are little letters that show up when you add a new song. So what's going on with those letters and why are they there? And more importantly, how can you memorize what they do? Well, let's head over to my computer and take a look. So here we are in Pro 7 and I've already added a song. Notice that I've uh, separated it out into verses and uh, all. So that's good. So what I want you to notice is that the letter A is on verse 1, S is on verse 2. So what does that mean? Well, let me show you uh, a downward look at my keyboard. So here we are. And I'm going to put my fingers on the home keys. And I want you to pay attention up here to what happens. So if I type, making sure ProPresenter is in the foreground. Uh, if I type letter A, it jumps to verse 1. S jumps to verse 2. Now look here at the keyboard and you'll notice that the letters are A, S, D, F, G, H, J. Those are actually verses 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. Now what about courses? Well, chorus starts with the letter C, but Unlike verses, it goes to the left. So, chorus 1 is C, chorus 2 is X, chorus 3 is Z, or Z, depending on the part of the world you're from. What about bridges? Well, bridges start with the letter B, and they go to the right. Bridge 1, bridge 2, bridge 3. Vamp, if you've got a song that has a part that's labeled as vamp, that starts with V. There's only one of those. What about uh, intro? Starts with the letter I. Outro? Starts with the letter O. So once you know that, you can jump really quickly between um, different things. So A, S, and so on. So that is what those are. Now, let's say you don't like those. You, you don't like these whatsoever. No problem. Or maybe you're having trouble remembering what I just told you. Also, no problem. Just go up here to ProPresenter and then Preferences. And then it is next to Label. So we see that we have the groups. Notice also that Verse and Verse 1 both get the exact same hotkey. And this is also where you can change those. So if you don't want them at all, you can uh, just click on it and hit delete or backspace and it'll go away. If you want to change it to something else, and it has to be one of the 26 letters in the English uh, regular, I guess it's technically the Roman alphabet, whatever. So that alphabet, um, then you can change it. So, I'm actually going to change that back. So, hit enter and it takes. So, now you'll notice that verse 1 through 5 is A S D F G. Verse 6 is uh, H. I added a new group here just to show that you could call that something else that's not in use. So, I think that. W is not in use, so I could use that if I wanted to jump to that new group, or if I wanted that gone away, again, just click on it, highlight it, delete it, and so on. So that is where you can uh, see this. Oh, see, I forgot to mention P for pre-chorus, T for tag, uh, E for ending, so on. Vamp, um, 
I think was there, but I deleted it in a previous tutorial. So that is uh, how you use hotkeys in ProPresenter 7. If you like this content, I bet that you would like Church Tech U, my online Church Tech training community. So just go to churchtechu.com to learn more. I've always got uh, different sales and offers with different bonuses or uh, other things running. So make sure you head there and you can also uh, join my email list where I'll send you those first. churchtechu.com until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.